Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube series of Pokemon Battles. Go ahead and go back into OUs with my team Gak. You guys should have seen it last time. For his team, his major threats are going to be... Greninja is always a threat no matter who, who you're facing against. Greninja is scary. And Aegislash looks like. So he might want to lead into his Garchomp to get some Stealth Rocks off or something. I'm not quite sure who he's going to lead into at this moment. And I'm pretty sure Peaches would be a good choice as I'll be able to put anything to sleep. But right just as his name suggests, for fuck's sake, I chose wrong. He goes into Greninja, he's going to Ice Beam, he's going to hit hard, I'm going to Gak, who's my special defensive wall, and will be able to take anything this Greninja wants to do to me. Although, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised Peaches came out black. I thought she would be pink, since it is a Butterfree, but... I guess she's not no longer good. I guess she's pretty much, you know, rotted. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and put a Draco Meteor on that. And then switch out, because I have no idea what I'm going to do for this Greninja. I might need Gak later. No, I'm just going to put a Toxic on it. Get a stall. Get some damage off on him. And then see what I can do from here. I'm just going to go ahead and protect get another turn out. Um, I might try to go for the double protect just to see if I can't get any more toxic damage off on it. I I think I might switch into rice and try to kill it. But that damage is racking up quite nicely. Kind of wish I had put choice spec, I mean choice uh, scarf on Yukita, but oh well. He will go for a dark pulse. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Yukata to revenge kill this is Greninja. I'm just going to go straight for the Sucker Punch. As he might expect me to set up so not many people actually run Yukita or Snow uh, Frostlass out of the norm. Just pretty much a normal setup, which is why I like to mix it up a bit. He did go for the Age of Slash. He probably will go... I'm not quite sure what he's going to do at this moment, to be honest. I'm not sure if it's one with the Dark Pulse or if it's one with the Night Slash or Shadow Snake. So I'm kind of afraid of this. I'm just going to go straight for the Sucker Punch as I expect him to attack me. He doesn't. He goes for Sword Stance. Oh dear god, this just turned terrifying. He will go for another Sword Stance. Unless he has Automized 2, which is going to be scary. He should just set up another one, which is what I do, because I really can't do anything to this Age of Slash. I just hope he doesn't have the Automize. I'm going to keep going for the Sucker Punch. I'm too afraid to bring in one of my guys off on an off thing. He goes for the King uh, Protect. 45%, it's not a whole lot. Plus 2 special attack. Why? Why do you get the plus 2 special attack when he has chance change? Oh, I guess because he ate something. Yep, weakness policy. Dang. I'm quite afraid of what this thing's going to have. I'm going to go straight into Tigger and just try to scare it out. He probably, yeah, he's going to kill me with the Shadow Sling. I'm going to go straight for the Fire Blast. Oh, Tigger lives it, thankfully, and that Age Slash is gone. So far, we're just trading Pokemons one for one, back to back. If we keep this up, I will win. He will do the knockoff, which should kill Tigger. Let's see, who do I not need at the moment? Let's just go ahead and go into Peaches, take the knockoff. He goes for the Mock Punch. Thankfully, I did switch out, because Peaches does resist it by times four. And go ahead and go for the Sleep Powder. Put this thing to sleep. Tell it to tell it to go night night. And I'm just gonna set up a couple quiver dances. As he switches out, he does he probably will have the evil light for hit for himself, so he will be doing a stab quick attack, which would turn into a flying type move. Do have compound eyes, which all it does is raise my accuracy. Peaches will die if I am wrong, and I do not need Peaches, judging by the look of his team, so I'm just going to go straight for the Bug Buzz. It does go for the Quick Attack, which is unfortunate. And it does turn into air because of uh, Aerial Light. I was hoping he might have dicked me to switch out and go for a set of move, but... Oh well, stuff hap stuff like this happens. I'm going to go into Link. And try to scare it off the Rock Blast. I hope I do, otherwise Link is probably a dead... 
dead Ching Chao. It is faster, surprisingly. He didn't go for the uh, Aerial Ace. I do have Skill Link, which means I will be able to kill it, thankfully. So we're still trading Pokemon one for one. Right now I'm at a, disposition, uh, a disadvantage. Goes on the beach. Interesting name. Probably going to go for the Mock Punch or something along those lines. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Tigger, let it die. Close combat, that's quite nice. Which means it gets lower defense and lower special defense. And if it's Choice Scarf or something, it, he will have to switch out thanks to Rice. So I'm just going to stay in, and I am just going to go for the... Hmm. It will do neutral damage. If I go for the Hyper Voice, or he will... Does he carry the Sucker Punch? You know what, I'm just going to go for the Hyper Voice. It's nice on everything in case he decides to switch out. He goes for the Bullet Punch. Which is quite scary, as so it almost killed me. But Rice will be able to finish the job with Beach. And I should be able to clean up from here as long as Garchomp isn't Choice Scarfed. If he is, then I have lost. Which he isn't. Oh, crap, he was, which is quite unfortunate. Lost Rice, that means this is the game. Good battle. Just kept trading Pokemon, though it was a bit redundant, pretty stupid. Thanks for guys for watching. See you guys next time. Alright, we're going to set up another OU battle. Hope you guys look forward to it, see what happens, and hopefully I don't get hacked to death. So far, looking at his team, his scary one is going to be the Kiron Black, followed by the Deoxys Defense. Looks like his Ambusol is going to be his um, his Eevee Lighted. So let me go ahead and lead off with Peaches to get the Sleep Powder on anything he decides to bring in in case he decides to set up. Which he does bring in the Ambusol, which will... Will be quite terrifying if I can't handle it. He is faster, which is really unfortunate. I was hoping I would be. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Yukita since she does uh, benefit from this. I'm going to go straight for the return, just to get damage off on it. And Yukita does have in increased invasion in the hail, which is quite nice for me. I kind of don't know how to handle this abs uh Abmus, eh, I can't say the name, huh? Okay, and he left. That's fucking great. Hey guys, welcome back. It's another OU battle with the same team called Gak. Although I did change it all a bit, I added Link and Peaches, and I got rid of a couple others because it did not want to save my file. It's quite weird. I've been doing that lately. Anyways, looking at his team, he might lead off with either the Demaritan, uh, since it will do a nice amount of chunk of damage to all my team except for Tigger, with the Fair Blitz. Might lead off uh, with his Fortress to get some Spikes off and Stealth Rocks. So Ninja is going to be a problem, since it is Ghost Buck and will only be hit by super effective moves. Because of that, I think I will just leave it. Actually, I'll just go for Gak. Get the uh, Toxic off on it in case he decides to lead off of it. He does go for the Fortress, which is quite unfortunate, but we will keep them locked in with Infestation as he gets his spikes up and whatnot. And since I have no way of clearing that, I really can't do anything for it, which is unfortunate. Although he does set up Stealth Rocks, which is going to hurt Peaches quite a bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just Draco Meteor it just to get some damage off on it since he cannot change. Look at that, nice 29%. Does set up his spikes like I thought he would. I'm trying to keep him in here, just keep uh, Draco Meteor in him, gain him down. I'm trying to whittle as much of his health as possible. And Protect won't be able to stop the spikes, unfortunately. Do another Draco Meteor, get this problem out of my hair. As Infestation will be able to kill it this turn, but he does get his three layers of spikes and uh, rocks up, which is quite unfortunate. As I do not have a way to get rid of him. Judging by what I have out, he should lead out with his Darmanitan. Although he doesn't know if I'm special or physical bulky with the Evil Light. He goes into the Empoleon. Quite not sure how to react to this, so I'm going to see what it is. Should be the physical variant, but it is, I was going to say, could carry the special attack. I'll go straight for the Infestation. Same plan as last time, because Gak can take anything this Empoleon wants to give me. Flash can look at that. Critical hit for 20%. Can't do nothing to me. I'm going to protect Widow's health down more with the Infestation. Just be the annoyance that I am. 
Holy crap, that, that that scared the crap out of me. But don't worry, guys. Bass doing his job. Scaring the living shit out of me when I start recording. Go ahead and go for another infestation. Of course, it does no damage. Look at that, 22% from a super effective Ice Beam. And since he cannot leave out, he's just getting racked up damage. I'm going to go ahead and protect again. Let that infestation rack up. Can't do nothing to Gak. Which is quite nice. Gak's pulling its own weight. And he checks up what my defenses are going to be for the Siglu. As he tries to make out a plan. Apparently does not know the stats on it. I should actually be using that more, but I'm too stubborn to be able to. Go ahead and send another Draco Meteor, because why not? 2% damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we're just racking up damage on each side. I'm going to go and go for another Infestation, then followed up by Protect. Unless he decides to switch out. Because it is not looking favorable for him at this moment. I really wish Gak had some a way to recover HP. It would have been really nice. I should put Rest on him. As it's the only recover move he can have. But... I don't want to be put to sleep and then get unlucky and have 5 turns sleep when those 5 turns really could have mattered to change the match around. I'm going to go ahead and try to go for a double protect. That failed, unfortunately. Oh well, shit happens. <laughs> now then, since I died, he is freed from the infestation and it is slow. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Link since it is special defense and it will be able to take anything it wants to give to me. I'm going to go straight for the bullet seed to get some damage off on it. I could go for the knockoff. But I'll pass. He does switch out into Shreninja, which is quite unfortunate. I'm going to go straight for the Rock Blast. Just to kill this thing. I believe it should bring it down to its Sash and then still kill it. Yes, it does. And that Shreninja is gone. I don't have to worry about that no more. Which is quite nice. And since Link is special to... Ooh, he brings a Dramatic, which means he's going to go right for the Fear of Bits. I'm going to go into Tigger. So that way he gets the Flash Flare and can't take anything this Dramatic has. has. Usually is... Choice Scarfed or Choice um, Banded. So that's going to be quite nice for me. I'm just going to go ahead and Morning Sun, get all back all my HP while he switches out. He goes into Empoleon. We'll be able to take anything he wants to throw at me, hopefully. I'm going to go straight for the Fire Blast. Hopefully this hits. It does. And it will kill it. That's a dead Empoleon. All he has left to answer for my Tigger is that Minetric, which will, should be able to one-shot it. So because of that, I'm just going to go ahead and will o -Wisp it. I don't have to worry about the Venusaur being the Mega Evolution, so that's quite nice. And the Will-O-Wisp will be able to do residual damage on that Manetric, which is also quite nice. I'm going to go ahead and Morning Sun, get some damage on it, let Burn do what it does. Unfortunately, it does kill me thanks to Min-Max. I was hoping that 51% would have been the max damage, but oh well. Now, the Manetrics are usually very fast, and it's not a position where I can Sucker Punch it to death yet. So I think I'll bring in Link, try to get some damage off on it. See what we can't do. I highly doubt it though. I'm gonna go straight for the tail slap. It is faster, like I thought. Find unfortunate. I really need some choice on this thing. I'm gonna bring in the peaches. It's gonna take a crap ton of damage, but it will be outsped and just get some more burn damage on the metric. See if you can't kill it with a sucker punch from that range. Seems like it is wearing the choice. No, sorry. Why can't I? Why am I saying it's wearing? It has the EV Light. Let's see if we can't kill it with the Sucker Punch from that range. Uh, we kill each other, unfortunately. Just a little bit more and we would kill him, but oh well, it's a win. We got that problem out of our hair. Rice comes in. He does bring in his Domarantan, but Rice will be able to outspeed it. Unless it's Choice Scarf, in which case I lose, which is quite unfortunate. And from here, I am just going to go straight and... Go for the Psy Shock since my stab won't do much anything. He is Choice Scarf, which means he's going to outspeed me. That is going to be the game. Thank you for the game, Voltos. Nice having you. See you later. Alright guys, welcome back to my Pokemon OU series. Go ahead and do a different team besides Gak this time around. I'm going to go into Annoyance, have God, have some fun. Let's go ahead and look for another battle, see who we can get and what we can counter. Whether it be weird shenanigans or not. It's been a while since we've seen a Suicune. Well, since I've seen a Suicune. And I don't like Asleaf ever since that explosion experience, so we're going to have to watch out. I, I really don't know what that guy was running to have explosion on one of my times I was recording. So that, that, that left a scar on me. <laughs> So his threat will be the scissor as we really don't have anything to answer it and the Aegislash. 
Um, he doesn't really have any setup Pokemon, so that's gonna be fine. He might lead off with Gengar. Don't, not quite sure. Let's, in any case, let's lead off with Ikeo, guys. Seems like a good position to stay in. Oh dear God, I hope it doesn't carry the explosion. I hope it doesn't carry the explosion. Just because the left scars on me, I'm gonna go straight into meth. Just because I don't want to hit that explosion. He does for the go for the trick, which gives him light clay, which really does nothing for him, but I get the choice scarf, which is quite nice. I'm gonna go ahead and toxic this as leaf. As he goes for flamethrower, because it is the special one of a special variant instead of the setup or the one with the explosion which gives me a nightmare so I don't have to fear that I'm gonna go straight into Gastrodon go ahead and let it take any attack damage any special attack it wants to do to me just eating it straight up it's gonna be able to stall it out since I do have recover on this I'm gonna go straight for the skull just to get some damage off on him and then I'm gonna go for the curve to get back my HP as he switches out since that will kill him next time around or he can switch out right now he does go for the fuck God, they always carry explosion. Why? Oh dear God, the memories are resurfacing. Oh my God, I'm so agitated. I can't speak right. Oh God, why do they always carry the explosion? Oh dear God, I let down my guard for one second. I lost my special defensive wall, which is what I needed against that, against the Gengar and the Sweet When you go straight into Metro and go and sleep powder just to get my revenge on him. Fuck everything he has on his team. He probably has the Ice Punch, but I don't care. He's not going to wake up. He's going to go get infested. He won't be able to switch out. I'm going to put the Leech Seed on him. Just let all that damage rack up. Oh my god, the scars have deepened. I will never trust an Asleaf ever again. Oh my god. Why? He does wake up, goes for the Ice Punch. I will die, which is quite unfortunate. I was hoping to get more turns of sleep, but oh well. I can't think straight. Oh god, why does... Why do bad things happen to good people? Oh my god. Uh... Scarred. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the stab extra sentry as he misses the high jump kick and I'll be able to kill him. High jump kick wouldn't have been able to kill me anyway since I do resist it. And bitch please could probably live one, not quite sure. Someone will probably correct me on that. Does go into Suicune. I'm just going to go straight for the energy ball, as he probably goes for a dark pulse. 42% does, he will, call mine, that's quite scary, he's setting it up. I'm going to go straight for another energy ball, hopefully get another special defense lower. If not, he will die unless he has the rest. He is going to die this turn unless he has like, ice shard or something dumb too. He's going to kill it, no idea why he kept it in and started doing all that. That was a waste of a good Suicune. Brings in Gengar. He is... Ghost Poison, I'm gonna go straight for the Extra Sentry, just to get that damage off. Or I could go for a Dark Pulse, but Extra Sentry does. He gets the critical hit, I would have been able to live that with close to 200 Special Defense. Ah, uh, this game, I don't want to talk about it. Talk. I'm just gonna Mega Evolve. Go for the Pursuit. In case he decides to switch out, he doesn't, he goes for the Shadow Ball. Pursuit will hurt a lot regardless, and I get the critical hit. Revenge for Revenge, oh my god, thank you. Now I'm still scared about that Aegis Slash as to what it would have. Could it have the Shadow Snake, he could go for the Sacred Sword. He does bring it out, which is what I'm scared of. He should, since she's in defense form, I think he's going to be slower than me. Go straight for the Pursuit. Goes for the King Shield, that's quite unfortunate, as I do get the reduced attack damage. I'm just going to go for the Pursuit again as he goes, yeah, look at that, no damage at all. Yeah, he does go for the Sacred Sword, which is what I was fearing. I don't like this Aegis Slash. Go ahead and go into Meth. Put up a Reflect. Hopefully that saves me. Nope. Yeah, that's all Meth can do. He was kind of screwed at the beginning. Get my Reflect up, which is quite nice. Shadow Snake doesn't kill it, as I am Physical Wall. Go straight for another Reflect. If he had Sword Stance, he would have used that chance to start setting up. But Fortune looks like he doesn't. I hope Crescent can kill everyone from this range. I'm going to go straight for the Waterfall. See what we can do, as I do have... Ah, oh, god damn it. That's gonna be game. GG. GG. Nightmares. Of explosion. That is the end of the game. Thanks for watching, guys. See you around next time. If this match ever does end... There we go. And it still does not kill it with a Shadow Sneak. Look at that. Kristen just being a boss and willowing him down.
Oh, well, one more Shadow Snake will get. See you guys later. Have a good one. Nightmares!